I'm Vishal, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Melbourne, Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect to Amazon Workspaces using remote desktop connection. Let's get started. To troubleshoot any Workspaces issue, you might need to connect to your Workspaces using an RDP client by updating the Workspaces security group settings to allow connections to your source IP address of client mission. Before we begin, note that to use RDP from outside of the network, you must provide internet access from your workspace registered public subnet and have a public IP address attached to the workspace. The public IP address is automatically attached to your workspace if you have turned on internet access by using a registered directory. If not, you can allocate an elastic IP address to your workspace. Or if you use a network address translation gateway, you can use RDP to connect to your workspace from within the network. When entering the IP addresses, that you use to connect to the workspace. Be sure you authorize only specific IP address or range of addresses to access and not all IP ranges. Now let's see how to check if your workspace has internet access. Then let's connect to your workspace using RDP. To check if you have turned on internet access at the directory level, see the steps in the link posted in the video description. After signing into the AWS Management Console, follow these steps. Open the Amazon Workspaces Console Select Directories, and then select your directory associated with your workspaces. Navigate down to Access to Internet section. Check to see whether you turned on Internet access. Turn this on if you require a public IP address assigned automatically for workspaces deployed in public subnet. If Internet access has not been enabled for the directory, the workspaces associated to this directory will not be assigned a public IP automatically and will need an elastic IP address to be attached. Please note, if you have just turned on internet access, existing workspaces don't receive an IP address until you rebuild them. Or you can manually assign a public elastic IP address using the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. Now let's configure the required security group. Open the Amazon Workspaces Console. Select the workspace and note the IP address under the workspace IP. Next, open the Amazon EC2 console. In the navigation pane, under the network and security, choose network interfaces. In the search box, enter the IP address as noted earlier. Select the network interface associated with the IP address and then note the IP address in the IPB4 public IP column. Select the associated security group column. Choose the inbound rules tab and then choose edit inbound rules. Choose add rule and then create a rule with the following attributes. Type RDP, protocol TCP, port range 3389, source. Enter the IP addresses that you use to connect to workspace. The IP addresses can include the public IP address of a remote mission the private IP address of another EC2 instance in the same Amazon Virtual Private Cloud or the public IP that your router is using for NAT. It is important to be as granular as possible. Don't enter all ranges or allow IP addresses that don't need access. Choose Save Rules. You can now connect to Workspace using RDP from the IP addresses that you specified. To do so, follow these steps. Open Remote Desktop Connection. For computer, enter the workspace IP address and then choose connect. For enter your credentials, enter the user credentials and then choose OK. Please note that user credentials must be in the format domain name slash username. And now you know how to connect to Amazon workspaces using RDP. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.